All right. Hi, everyone. Happy MLK Day. We are here to make collages today. And all you need is a pair of scissors and magazines and cutouts and a piece of art that I've made with, with Dimitri with our um, with a workshop that was at MOAD. So that, you know, things like that are around you, paper, images that you like. If you if you have spare photos that you might be able to integrate into this art, you can also incorporate this art. You can also do that. So um, happy MLK Day. I would like to just ask a question and I would like you to think about this question as you create this artwork. And if you could, please take us, you know, take a, a photo of your art and post it on Instagram or um, all our other social media platforms. So that way we see what you're working on. And also we, you know, we can continue to celebrate it. So I would like you to think about what freedom means to me. So what freedom means to you? And let's think about that for, for a couple of seconds before we start. And then we will get going. All right. Meanwhile, I'll fix my camera just, just a little bit so you can have a better view. All right. I have an old copy of Essence magazine, um, which I, I've cut out, I cut out several images out of it. And there's so many beautiful images. Um, images here. Um, vacation definitely um, reminds me of freedom at this point. And there's so many beautiful images and not only images of people or animals or, um, or, or th you know, other things, but you can also take a cutout of something like this. And what works is texture. We want to get texture into our artwork. And why not glue? You might be wondering, why are you doing a, a, a workshop, a collaging workshop with no glue? Reason is, this workshop will allow you, this, this um, way of making collages will allow you to create and recreate art using the same pieces. So why use glue, right? And also, less mess. All right, so the first thing you want to do is have a white surface or any kind of surface, really. It just has to be plain and flat. So this is my, my empty surface. And you want to have a background. And I chose this one. I think this is a, um, a good image as a background. And I have a cutout of something furry. I don't know what it is. And I would like to use it kind of like her hair up here. I think that's, I think that's a, a nice addition. Okay. Maybe I have a picture of a hat that I have cut out. And I would like to add the hat. It's an oversized hat. I mean, this, this picture itself just reminds me of freedom and, and just so much beauty. And then I would like to add something to her dress. Looking at my pieces, maybe I'll frame her in such a way. And I have a cutout of hand over here. And I'm going to give you time to create where we'll create together. And just to show you where we're going and the goal of this activity is when where I'm showing. Um, these things. So I would, I would like to 
actually on the surface let's just add a little hand over here let me see and i would love to get some greenery around her just like that now i feel like i'm finished but i might not be but for, for you know because we have we don't have a whole lot of time we only have about 30 minutes to do this activity i'm going to go ahead take my smartphone and take a photo of my collage now using the same pieces I'm going to reassemble another collage. This time I want to add a bit of texture in the background. Freedom to me is where things grow, things are nurtured and nourished. So greenery reminds me of that. And I place the hat on the table. Yeah, I see a little tagine over here from Morocco, and this looks like a Moroccan wall. And I'm gonna make a comfortable space right here using the same pieces maybe not all of them but using the same pieces I know this is missing a little bit of a balance so let's just put it up here A generous giving hand coming out of it. Maybe turn it this way. Maybe even come have it come up from the top. All right. Now I'm going to take another photo with my new arrangement. And I can show you these are the photos. This is the first piece. I don't know if you're able to see it well. And this is the second piece using the same pieces. Great. Now let's create together. We have about 10 minutes. And, you know, the idea of this workshop is to get you started and not necessarily finish the activity. You can continue to work on this activity for, for days and you can add a takeaway. And the beauty of it is that I usually, what I use is like kind of like a Ziploc bag or a plastic bag where I keep all of my images, something like this. And then I get to create collages all the time. I can go back and create collages all the time. That way, it's always there. So let's just find images to cut out of a magazine. Hmm. You know, it's a uh, the word freedom. Like we have, we all have complicated understanding of what freedom means because one's freedom may not be another person's freedom. All of that, but right now we can be selfish. We can think about what freedom means to us individually, and if you dare, you can think about what freedom means to you and your community. Oh, I really like this. 
I like Lizzo as an artist as well, so I really like this. I'm gonna cut. And they don't have to be square or rectangle or triangle. It can be any shape. Now I would like it, this to look like a rare kind of exotic flower. That's a sign. I'd like to make it actually do petals. Like that. Oh, it's like a heart. Um, Elizabeth is asking me to move a little bit to the left. Let's see if, if this would work. Let's see. Bear with me as I adjust my camera. How's that, Elizabeth? I'd love to see the pieces that you are making, right? The pieces that you're putting together right now. Curious, very curious. I have a feather that I cut off, uh, cut up a while back. This is such a beautiful background. This, I think it's like a, a watch commercial or something like that. And I, and I saved it and I really, really like it as a background to create the, um, the it adds to the texture, it adds to the character of the piece. Let's do something like this. more minutes to go. These workshops are always short and they go really fast. But my favorite thing is to see your creations later on as you post them on Facebook, as you share them with us at education at moad.org, uh, moadsf.org. Just email it to us. We'd love to see your creation. Your creation. Okay. All right, it's almost time for us to take our first photo. So with what you have created, take a, your first photo with your smartphone. If you don't have a smartphone, any type of camera is cool. And, and to be honest, it adds something to the collage. And then let's do another arrangement. Our last one. I'm going to bring back this and I would like to kind of cut, cut these bars so they are no longer holding back. I'm 
slant it just slightly so. This piece that I was doing. I don't know how I feel about that one, but how I'm going to take the photo will show you how I'm going to take the second arrangement. My second arrangement is going to look like this. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. I am very happy that we were able to create art together. I'd love to see your creations. Please send them to us. And um, also check out Moad's calendar. We're, we're often doing workshops and tours. So I really appreciate you joining us today. Happy MLK Day. And continue to think about what freedom means to you. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye. Kind of hard to wave this way. <laughs>